the students must really love your food because they're the ones judging, not us. Because this challenge is a massive one, even by our standards, we're going to assign each team with an expert. <laughs> the red team, your expert, has had 25 years in the industry. Many moons ago, I was his apprentice. Gary! <laughs> Yay! Gary Megan. I always thought a tuck shop kitchen is probably just like one stove, a mini fridge and then one fry pan. But when I walked into Hunter's Hill tuck shop um, kitchen, it was pretty big. Should we start off with the savoury dishes first? Yeah. What do you reckon? Meatballs. Quiches. What about quiches? Quiches is a great idea. Let's talk about some sweet stuff. Maybe like a batch of brownies. Brownies. Oh, yeah. Cassidy's smiling. Look at that. <laughs> brownies. Now, Pierre, you're the captain of the red team. Yes. So what's your meaning? Jack and Isabella are going to do quiches with the filet pastry. That's going to have prosciutto yep. with um, shallots, onions and some eggs. With the ones in the filet pastry triangles, that's going to be a vegetarian dish. And what else? For the hot dish, um, meatballs with a tzatziki sauce in a Turkish bread. That sounds delicious. What else are you cooking? Me and Cassidy for the sweet dish are cooking brownies with a chocolate flaked cream and a raspberry cream. You seem quite calm at the minute. No, I like to stay calm because then I can focus more. Fantastic. But will you get it done in time? That's the question. Yes, we will. You will? Yep. Good stuff, mate. Good luck, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Lots of butter goes in. We had me and Pierre on the brownies. We have to get the mixture done and into the oven. Don't stress, Cass. We have to get a hundred or more out of them, so I was a bit worried. And if it doesn't work, we won't be able to serve it, we'll have no dessert, and we might not even get the six points. How much chocolate did you put in? The thing that is important for me as a leader is after now go and go and hover around everyone and see what they're doing and help anyone who's in trouble. Yes. Cream. Yes, put that in the fridge, bo bottom shelf. He helps everyone. He checks on us. He's a really good captain and a great cook as well. Can we have a team rally together? What you need to do is take everything off the bench you don't need to cook with anymore. Hot plates, boards, knives, everything. Bench is clean. Mixers off, right? Let's start. You've got two minutes to clean up. Let's go. It's big clean down time on the section. Um, when you're ready, could you just get a baking tray? Yep. Please. Uh, yeah, it's quite hard being against Pierre. We're friends, but I think we've got to go hard. How are you guys going? If you have enough time to do this, you're not What's working that? hard enough. See, ours is messy, yours is clean. Because we have good helpers. Well, then you should go clean it up. I think our brownies are ready. Yeah. And then we pull it out, and if it comes out clean, it's cooked. And then we need to put them somewhere to cool down. The brownies are ready. They look great. I'm really excited about them, and I think they'll be a great hit. Make sure you cut a big brownie for me, yeah? Whoa! Cass, that's too much. They're good. They're perfect. I guess. Coming through, guys. Pierre's the, the team captain. Yeah. How's he coping? If you just cast your eye over there, he's making raspberry coulis, brownie, grated chocolate, whipped cream, and he's telling the boys, if you need a hand, I'll be over there in a minute. But you know what? They're excited. They're loving it. Let's hope to goodness it all comes together at the end. The team with the most votes obviously wins the challenge. Get plates, get plates going, get plates, get the cream. It's really all up to the high schoolers. It's a cheese and bacon quiche. It's quite tasty. Good balance with the sauce hitting it. 
So Red's got my vote now. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty proud of him because you know I can't cook this. So. Put the spoons back in the water. Enjoy, vote for Red. All these four plates here, they were brownies not so long ago, but they were fantastic. This is a winner. I'm going for Red. When it was time for the judges to announce who had won the challenge, I was feeling a little bit nervous. You must be so proud of the red team. Oh, you did a great job. Compliments to all of you. And your food tasted great too. It was beautiful. So well done to you. Really good. Red team, voting didn't go your way. You're all going into the pressure test, but pressure's great. It's fantastic. It's where we thrive as chefs. Any single one of you can still become Australia's first junior master chef. Yesterday was the Tuck Shop Challenge and the blue team won and the red team lost. Today the red team can go into the pressure test. The dish you'll be cooking today is a very sophisticated dish. A dish you'd find on the menu in a really beautiful restaurant. The dish you are going to be cooking today is... Uh, poached pear in a cranberry syrup with vanilla mascarpone oh and a twill biscuit. So Pierre, Nick and Cassidy, up you come and you'll taste first. This is more than sophisticated. It, it looks easy, but then when you looked at it closely, it was very detailed, and especially the syrup. Well. Your one hour starts now. We have one hour to create the poached pear. To scoop out the core. Yep. That's it. That's exactly how you use it, just how you did there. Good job, man. I was just looking at Pierre, and he is really fast. Yeah. I've got to be um, stressed, because I've never made soup before. I had it on the heat, and I, was, I kept watching it, and it began to bubble, and then it instantly turns to toffee. I got a fry pan out to heat faster, and I got two layers of spoons into there. It didn't reach the consistency, but I was still very happy that I gave it a go. Three, two... Pierre, we're going to taste your dish. I was a bit nervous about the syrup, but all my other elements of my dish were perfect. First of all, Pierre, you cooked the pear beautifully. It's lovely. The syrup is a little bit thin. It's got the right flavours, but it needed to be reduced down, so it's slightly syrupy. I was very, very proud of my effort, because apart from the syrup, it was a perfect dish. And I thought, now I'm going to practise syrups every day for my life until I get it perfect. <laughs> Today's challenge is called Choose a Box. Three-time marinated duck, also with a side of wontons. What's going in the wontons? It's a mix of the duck breast, yep. chili, garlic, ginger, yep. water chestnuts, and yep. some spring onions. What about the duck? What are you most worried about? Probably, yeah, the overcooking, overcooking. or undercooking. As I'm carrying the dish up to the judges, what I'm worried about is the duck may be a bit overcooked. It's a marinated duck with Asian greens, and I have a side of wontons. Yeah, that duck's just a wee bit overcooked. But I'll forgive you, because it's still pink, and that skin has got loads of flavour. Ginger, garlic, pak choy, you've got lots of mushrooms in there, bit of chilli, absolutely love that dish. The presentation of that duck there is well beyond years, honestly. 
You're too young to be cooking like this, you know. You're not allowed. <laughs> what I really loved is the way you folded those yeah. little dumplings, you know. They're like little tortellinis. They look beautiful. A brilliant effort, buddy. Well done. Thank you. The judges have tasted our food, and now it's time to find out who the winner is. Right, Chefettes, coming in at third place and being awarded two points is Pierre. I'm very proud of myself because I came third, and I'm very happy. A beautiful roasted duck breast with a beautiful stir fry, and of course, those wontons that looked picture perfect. Well done, Pierre.